He anchors the weekend update on Saturday Night Live, and he has recently quit the nasty habit of smoking. Norm McDonald. Norm! Now, uh, you're a young iconoclast, Norm. You know, the kids, they get you. What? <laughs> no. I was going to wear a suit, and I... I, 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 I don't need to. <laughs> I like this old D.B. Cooper look for you, man. This is... Now, it, is he it, the guy that jumped out of the plane? No, no. He's married to Alice Cooper. Now, the thing I'm... Uh, <laughs> Remember you wrote for my first talk show? Yeah, you gave me my and first And I used job. to come in the room, and you and Drake say there had no lights on. It was like some fucking <laughs> Anton LaVey Satan cult in there. And you guys used to turn out the sickest jokes ever. And everybody was always smoking. Then I see you on Saturday Night Live during the opening credits. And one of the things I like about you is you're completely unfiltered on that show. You'll say anything. And I saw in the picture you had a cigarette in your mouth. I thought, this yeah. guy just doesn't give a shit. So I asked you to come on. I find out you pushed out on me and quit smoking. What is that all about? <laughs> no, because it's bad for you. <laughs> they have these fucking things on the side. You have to read the fine print where it says, it's bad. <laughs> Now, when did you first start smoking? I started smoking as a kid, like when I was, uh, I think I was like 14, and I thought, I'll look really cool, like if I start smoking, because I didn't get along with anybody. So I started smoking. Wouldn't you know it, I did look cool. <laughs> all of a sudden, all these broads like me and everything. <laughs> Not broads, but ladies, girls, women. <laughs> and, uh... It was hard, though, man, because I was, I was guilty about it all the time I smoked, because I always thought, you know, I always, thought, I always knew it was bad for me, you know? Like, even though some, you know, some guys will say that it's good because their uncle lived long or something and he smoked, you know, and they'll go, hey, what about, you know, that old guy, uh, you know, Burt Mustin, what about that guy, you know? And then, uh, 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 he, just because he lived long, that doesn't mean anything, right? That's just one guy. You can't... Just because Burt Mustin lived long, you're all of a sudden... You did your master's thesis on this, didn't you? <laughs> no, I never now, did people that. bother you a lot when you're smoking? Were people pissed off when... Yeah, people don't like when you smoke, you know? They, they're bothered, like... I gotta admit, though, secondhand smoke is bad. Like, I don't like... When I smoked, I didn't like secondhand smoke. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I like that first-hand smoke because you get to suck it right out of the cigarette, you know? <laughs> and the second-hand, any, any fucking thing that's already been ingested by someone is not as good, you know? <laughs> you know what I mean? I style. Like a pork sandwich is delicious, but after a digested pork sandwich, <laughs> that's fucking shit. You know? <laughs> you can't fight that logic, Norman. <laughs> You cannot? Do you think advertising brings kids to smoking? You know, they have a lot of fight with the Joe Camel thing. Do you think they really? Yeah, they got, no, yeah, definitely they got it. Because the thing is this. The advertisers, they got to go after kids because they're not going to get adults. Like, there's not going to be a 50-year-old guy going, hey, I should start smoking. <laughs> that goddamn camel. Look at him. <laughs> You get little children. So Camel. Yeah. That's a frightening looking beast. Is he looks like a cock. I, read <laughs> yeah. I didn't make this up. And I know you don't mind first hand cock, but uh... <laughs> You don't know that. <laughs> don't say that. <laughs> I know how this stuff happens, man. Because a buddy of mine worked on Saturday Night Live, and he said he was a fag once as a joke. And then he said everybody comes up to him and say, are you a fag? <laughs> gay, mom, gay man, I mean. <laughs> show about smoking. They thought you meant the British word for cigarette. All right. Uh... Exactly. <laughs> Can I bum a fag? That's what they say in England. <laughs> Where else? All right. Uh... <laughs> Think about Joe Camel looking like a cock, Dennis. <laughs> oh, yeah. I lost my train of thought. Thanks for bringing me back. Is this. This is what I've noticed. Uh -huh. he, look, he doesn't even look like a fucking camel. He looks so much like a cock. 
because you know how it's usually subliminal? Yeah. Where you have to find the cock, right? <laughs> this character, you have to find the goddamn camera. <laughs> Yeah, believe me, when you only get two humps out of a cock, it's not worth smoking. All right, now, line two, we've got a phone call for you. Although I can't believe they'd still be on the line after this departure. Uh, line two, we've got Beverly from Middletown, Ohio. Beverly? Yeah, hi, Dennis. Hi, uh, Norm. Hi, you didn't know my name, I don't think. Yes, I did. I, I watched Saturday Night. Do you like it? Yeah. <laughs> I liked it when Dennis was on it. Yeah, I did too. I, I watched Dennis every Get Friday. out of here. You're great at that, right? You're great at this. You know why? Because you don't give a shit about Dennis. You know what I mean? It's like the best thing you can do. Whenever I'd go on, they'd go, what's it like following Chevy? And I like Chevy. He makes yeah, me laugh. Yeah. What the fuck do I think about Chevy? I'm trying to make a living here. Right, you know right. what I mean? Right. And when I see you, I know you're thinking the same thing. Like, screw Dennis. I'm killing. Okay. Uh, anyway, go ahead. What's your question? Okay, since nicotine is such an addictive drug, do you think someday you'll have to have a prescription to buy a pack of cigarettes? Well, you know, they always bring up the Constitution and talk about how we should still have the right to a militia and all that. But let's face facts, this country was built on tobacco growers. So, you know, if you're going to start changing... If you're not going to change one thing because it comes from way back then, you can't change this yeah. either. There are farmers yeah. out there who make a living. Tobacco is one of the crops that got this country going. So, no, I don't think they'll ever make it illegal. Yeah, no, they shouldn't make it illegal. <laughs> I know, I know. I think Norm's backing me up on that. Uh, <laughs> what, made it, what motivated you to quit? Um, well, I guess, you know, I guess I was just, I, was, I read this thing about how, uh, it was like a fa uh, uh, phallic symbol, and that my doctor went in. I said, he said, you probably have an oral fixation, which you know what that means. Let's not kid ourselves, right? <laughs> so uh, <laughs> that's why I always smoke like cigarettes instead of cigars, because if I'm going to have a, I like a little white thin <laughs> cock. to take a nice clean call and then I space out I'm thinking I can't listen to Norm for a second I gotta get a time cue here I come back and you're talking about having a thin white cock in your I don't, mouth no I don't have a thin white cock in my cock you mean? <laughs> no in my mouth no no you misunderstand oh, what okay. I'm saying is this I'm just well, saying don't this. make the mistake of thinking I fucking listen to you <laughs> I just want to make it clear about that cock thing <laughs> I was just saying, if I ever was gay, if they like suddenly made it mandatory or something, then I would choose the smallest cock, and I would like a guy that came fast. I thought the subject was cock. No oh, cocks is next week. I'm sorry. Does that answer your question? Yes, it does. Lauren McDonald, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Yeah. Is that you? Yeah, I was just thinking, you know, because they that, have that Viagra thing out. Yeah. And the other day, you know, Bob Dole said, came right out and said... He was one of the first. Yeah. And, you know, you don't want to hear about Bob Dole's <laughs> cock, you know? <laughs> I mean, President Clinton's cock, Bob Dole's cock, what the hell? But mostly, an old man like that, an old man... <laughs> You don't want him to have a super hard cock. <laughs> you know what I mean? Why? Why? Because an old man, you want him to be uh, got a pipe going, a newspaper, the dog at his feet there. Well, that in some corners is considered pipe. Oh. <laughs> but now they're going to have to create some goddamn pill that, that makes women <laughs> aroused at the sight of a fucking 70 year old dude with a super hard cock. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's crazy. This is Viagra. It's insane. <laughs> and you know what it's for? Impotent people. Right? Yeah. It's for impotent guys. So get this. The, the, I read this. The, 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 the pill can make your cock hard for four hours. Right. So now, who has the four-hour hard cock? The impotent guy. <laughs> the rest of us are fucked. Me and you. <laughs> me and you got our regular cocks. Meanwhile, fucking Spade is, uh, you know... <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Over to Spain. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. I didn't see it. <laughs> I didn't see it coming. Dude, I know you didn't. He brought it all around and then a vicious rip kick into his best friend's gut. Once there's too much cock talk, I try to just zone out for a minute until it goes back. <laughs> The other there, way. If there's too much cock talk, this guy has fevered nightmares all night. Dreams, I mean, like sweaty, fevered dreams from the, from the cock talk that's been all over his head. Cock, why, cock, why cock. bury me twice? He's killing me. No, he's a good man. <laughs> that erased it. All right. No, he's a good man. Who cares? After all that, that's, the, well, that's the whiteout he puts on. Yeah, yeah. I know. It's awful. After he talks about you doing shit ups on cock for 18 minutes. <laughs> No, he's a good guy. If you're gay, he's a completely straight guy. He gets a lot of ladies. You know that about him with the ladies. Don't say ladies. Women, girls. Okay, thank yeah. you. Ladies. What are we, fucking on an FM station here? <laughs> he's Don Cornelius. But these gay guys, man, I was reading, you know about the, these go. gay guys. I haven't even said hi yet. <laughs> All right. Tell me, tell me what it is with these gay guys. I, know, I'm I just read it. this thing about the Michael uh, George Michael. You're reading Michael. a lot, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, I read. I got a little time off. Now I read the newspaper. <laughs> <laughs> and this is really strikes me about the gay community. I don't know if they're a community, but. <laughs> But uh, called called West Hollywood. Hollywood. Yeah, they're 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 gay, and it's you know George Michaels. He hangs around the bathroom. He has sex with multiple guys. This no, is like, no, no, no way. You got to get it right. I, hangs around the bathroom, right. and it was uh, described as a lewd behavior. But I, I don't remember sex with numerous guys. Well, what is, is that? He, what you took away from it? What does he do? What were you in the next stall? <laughs> I could have been just having a nice bathroom, regular thing. I don't know what lewd behavior is, but I don't know that he was in there with numerous guys. But, but anyway, go ahead. We get the gist of it. This is definitely a gay thing, like, because this is a pop superstar. You know right. what I mean? You're not going to walk into a, a bathroom and all of a sudden Farrah Fawcett's like, ah, you know? You're not going <laughs> to... What? <laughs> Saying is why? Would a, why would a famous? Why, what was she doing? <laughs> what was that? Some sort of cervical belt sander thing, or what was that? Oh <laughs> ah, Christ! What are you, that's Linda Blair? They do. That's what they do. Right? That's, what they do right? that's what they. That's what ladies that I know do. <laughs> but, but good, my, good to know that. Prime time exposure is paying dividends there. But guy. I think that's what it is. It's that the gay, uh, they, that's why they have separate bathrooms. Let's face it. If they had women and, uh, you know, women, as you call them, I call them ladies. If, if you had them in the same bathroom, like, like, you, like you go in the bathroom to, to do your uh, business, see a man about a dog there, you know, and you're, you're in the bathroom. <laughs> you're in the bathroom. All of a sudden, a beautiful lady comes out. Oh, here's my vagina and breasts. You're going to be hanging out at that bathroom a lot. <laughs> so I don't blame anybody for anything. <laughs> Can you believe Olmeyer didn't get him? <laughs> We're all the same, man. <laughs> have, you, have you ever met Olmeyer since then? Don Olmeyer I met once, yeah, after he fired me. Yeah. Then I went and visited him in his office. Which was it, was, it wasn't an office I've never seen. It was like a wet bar and a, uh, a bunch of weird sports trophies. He's a big sports guy, you know? Yeah. So he explained it to me, what happened, but he did it all with sports stuff, you know? Like he said, ah, man, you see, you're the number three hitter, but now you're going to be number eight. And then uh, later on, uh, Ken Griffey will show up. I didn't know what the hell he was talking about. <laughs> and then I said, well, Christ, man, what the hell am I supposed to do? And he goes, ah, I don't know, just walk it off, you know? And... Uh, <laughs> I'll put it in sports terms why you got fired. You were fucking with OJ too much. That's uh, exactly yeah. why you were fired, man. Well, I don't know. That's his that. buddy. Yeah, it's his buddy. Yeah. Well, that's why you got canned. OJ's a good guy. I mean, he's not. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got to end on that, Normie, but uh, there's what they'll remember hey, you by. OJ's a good guy. Man, Thanks for coming hungry. on. Norm McDonald and David Spade. Stick around. Guys. Luckily, we have the good taste to bring tonight's guest back. Every season, he is as uncensored a wit as they come. His new sitcom, The Norm Show, is on ABC Wednesdays at 9.30. Please welcome George Wendt, ladies and gentlemen. Well, 
They thought they were getting they thought, Georgie they West. Yeah, they did the title. Laura <laughs> Bay. How you doing, man? How are you? I'm all right. How's huh? it going? You're in, you're out. My favorite guest. All right, you're a good man. Because you have no, uh, no inner barometer of how far to go. <laughs> Well, no, because it's HBO. I, try, I, I like to be dirty, you know, and uh, <laughs> it's fun. You know what you are? You're like a profane child. That's what I think of you, because you always say, yeah, I like to be dirty. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> then you go up on this pensionist cock ramp for like three minutes. Uh, yeah. Cocks are ugly, and Joe Campbell's a cock. And, <laughs> You're always shuffling your feet. Uh, no, what are you not. nervous about? You're a star, for Christ's sake. Uh, How's that sitcom world? Is that hell, or do you like that over there? <laughs> it's not a lot of fun, but, uh, <laughs> you know, it's good to uh, 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 do. No, it's not on Olmeyer's. Has Olmeyer sent you a congratulatory telegram, or what word no. am I looking for there? Olmeyer, I haven't heard any uh, missive, I think. Who's the Olmeyer at your network? Uh, this lady, Jamie Tarsus. She think you're funny? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Olmeyer's not even there anymore, isn't it? No. Isn't one of his last official duties to, yeah, to whack you? Yeah. <laughs> he took off and they got this other guy, uh, I think it's maybe Sammy Sosa. <laughs> <laughs> Scott Sasso. Scott Sasso. <laughs> I'm going to do a Rorschach thing. What yeah. flashes into your mind when I say bad taste? What do you find about this? Uh, well, there was this uh, performance art guy, I remember, in New York, that uh, his, his whole big thing was he'd take a picture of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ of Nazareth, and then... Oh, that Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> and then he, his whole act is he'd, he'd piss on it with his cock. <laughs> Wow, you know, at least he showed respect. He could have pissed with his, what, arm? <laughs> oh, you're right, you're right. You're right. So I thought that was really and horribly That's bad That's over taste. the line. As far yeah, as because Jesus Christ, you know, he died for the guy's sin, and then the guy pisses on his picture. And it was a picture of Jesus dying for his sins. Like he was on the cross going, oh, I'm dying for the guy's sins. And then this guy's like pissing all over it. But, you know... It, when Judgment Day comes, he's going to have to face uh, Jesus Christ of Almighty of Nazareth, you know. And Jesus is going to say, hey, asshole, what's with the peeing on my picture? Yeah. That negates every other good thing he ever did, you know. Yeah. He's like, you don't piss on my picture. No. You don't want to come up to the gates of heaven, God's leaning there with a nunchuck strapped around his neck, you know. Just... <laughs> how do you, how do you go, do... I'll have some performance art for you while the fucking devil shoves some coal up your ass. <laughs> As I said before, the childlike outro, <laughs> but effective. How do you define bad taste? Is it like beauty? Is it in the eye of the beholder or what? Yeah, it kind of is. You know, it depends on what people... Some people, like, get all upset over certain words. Like, they think that that... Like, girls all the time, man, when I'm talking to them, like, if I go, Hey, uh, uh, how about you and I, like, fuck, you know? <laughs> and, then, and then the girl always goes, like, I don't fuck, I make love. I make love, and I go, I don't care, whatever you want to call as long as my, as long as my dirty cock's involved, you know, I don't care, I'm not, not going to get, you know, not going to get in a semantic argument, or, you know, you can go out making a grilled cheese sandwich as long as, as long as there's a lot of me doing, ah, that kind of thing, you know? <laughs> Now, what's the earliest into a, a hitting on a woman that you've ever said, I want to fuck you? Uh, like how, how, do you, you give it a couple minutes, right? I try to get into it pretty quick. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Throw that trump card yeah. down. No, if because you're in the gang. I it's don't, because I don't like, uh, I don't ever ask them, to, would you like to have dinner? I don't really like having dinner with them. Or, or having a drink with them, or anything like that. No. You know, I, I, so that's your sort of exchange with women is. Uh... Yeah, I say, hey, how about you and me fuck? And then they go, no. <laughs> and then they go, how about we have dinner? And I go, I don't like dinner. You don't like fucking. <laughs> <laughs> So it's pretty, 
basic thing you have. I'm little. not kind of a basic yeah, exchange. I'm not good with girls. When do you when do you remember first being cognizant of bad taste? You know, because when you're a little kid, everything's kind of funny. You know, yeah. like farting is explosively right, funny. Right. When, when do you remember first being able to differentiate between bad taste and good taste? I know when you're a kid, you'll say anything. Like I don't remember much, but I have a little boy. You know, sweet little boy. You have a son. Yeah, he's a good boy. I didn't know that. You didn't know that? Yeah. yeah. You want to say hey to him? Yeah, hey. To, uh, well, you oh, he can't watch, watch this. this show. <laughs> That's what I always say. You can't watch Daddy. <laughs> right. Uh, so little Dylan uh, and I went to uh, El Pollo Dylan. Loco. Yeah. His original name was Zimmerman, though, right? No. I thought that would be the coolest name as I was a kid. I never heard anybody named Dylan. I said, this will be a... Because I love Dylan Thomas. Right. Uh, 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 so uh, I said, this will be a cool name for a kid. And, and I thought it would be unique. And now every fucking kid is Dylan. <laughs> And they named him after that 90210 guy. Can you imagine? <laughs> That's what I read in a, in a not a book, but a, a, a periodical. So anyway, um, little Dylan and I were getting some chicken at the Pollo Loco. Right. And the kids are so uh, wonderful, you know. You know that. Unfiltered. They're unfiltered, exactly. Yes. So we're standing beside this huge fat rod, you know. <laughs> and, uh, so not as unfiltered as Daddy, <laughs> but unfiltered. Uh -huh. So me and little Dylan are behind her, and he goes. Daddy, look how fat she is. And then so I, I had not said, you're not supposed to call fat people fat to him, so it wasn't his fault. So I said, no, it's only shit, enough with that. And he goes, I bet she's going to eat a lot of chicken. I bet. <laughs> and it was really funny because everybody was looking at her. And then right at that moment, the guy goes, uh, yes, ma'am, what would you like? And she was like, uh, I'll have two pieces of chicken. <laughs> you know, she was going to order like eight full whole chickens, you know. Well, how do you know that? Yeah, how do I know that? Yeah, maybe she wasn't going to order eight full chicken. Oh, no. maybe she was... Because right when she ordered the two chickens, she did like the shifty eye, you know? <laughs> I don't do a good shifty eye. So, though. you're behind her in line and yet able to discern the subtle REM-like movements of her eyeball. <laughs> you got me on that one, yeah. man. <laughs> I made that part up. I you don't even have out. a son! <laughs> <laughs> For the purposes of that anecdote, I am not Darren. I thought you were going to be quick and say, uh, uh, it was Linda Blair. <laughs> uh, we got All a right. phone call for you, believe right. it or not. Is Fat it? woman from El Pollo Loco. <laughs> no. It's uh, Murtaugh from Miami, Florida. Murtaugh. Hey, Dennis. Hey, Norm. How are yeah. you, Mert? I'm good. You know, I can't wait to see your new show. It really looks good. Oh, yeah. Wait, when's it on again, Normie? Remind them. I mean, you're a good, you're one of my friends. I'll let you plug capriciously. Okay, it's uh, on uh, the, uh, uh, when, uh, uh, Oh, come on, you gotta get this. <laughs> huh? When Who's is it? it on? Where Are is you it in it? Yes. It's on a Wednesday at 9.30 on the American Broadcasting Corporation. All right. So, uh, what, what's your question there, Mark? Okay, why is the people like this annoying Joan Rivers, you know, always criticize people's bad taste at the Academy Awards, you know, like Gwyneth Paltrow, who's like the hottest chick on earth. And uh, well, she has no taste in fashion whatsoever, you know, man? I mean, God. Well, I don't, you know what? I, I feel awkward here because Joan I met Joan Rivers. Rivers once and she was so nice to me and so yeah. funny. But I, I agree with him to some extent when she gets... Like lays into Kathy Bates or saying, oh, Kathy Bates never did anything wrong by her." And I, I just think there's that slight tinge of desperation in Joan sometimes yeah. nowadays. You know that she'll say anything, and that kind of yeah. I don't know. Sometimes that makes me uncomfortable. But you know, yeah. she she's a good dame. She does a great I show hate there. I slam and other celebrities. Yeah. You know. What Remember I mean? when Spade did that? How he lived his life in fear. To Eddie. Well, to Eddie, you know, to Eddie specifically, people, right? but Spade yeah. used to do that Hollywood moment. Spade, he's a great guy, he's one of yeah, our yeah. best friends, but he's, he was always scared shitless because he, he, he made his whole thing out there just <laughs> trashing people, and they would get pissed and call him, and he was always like living in fear. He never goes to Hollywood parties because he's afraid somebody's going to kick his little Sputnik right, ass right. down. <laughs> right, because everybody he insults is like two and a half feet taller than him. <laughs> now, Norm, have you ever... Have you ever done anything in your long and storied career that you consider specifically to be in bad taste? As you look back on it, maybe at the time you thought it was a good play, but you look uh, back on it and you think that was in bad taste. Well, sometimes, like in stand-up, I'll do jokes that are uh, that I th like. One time I was doing this thing in San Francisco, and they were all gay uh, people in the audience. They told me, so I figured out in do San it. Francisco. Yeah. No. <laughs> 
So I figured I'd do stuff about gay people so that they could relate to Yeah, it's warm up. Right. <laughs> they love that. And so I was talking about, because I went to this gay pride parade, and I saw in it there were these uh, old men and old ladies like with these uh, signs that said, we are proud of our gay son, you know? And so I was saying, that's an odd thing to be proud of, you know, because it's not an achievement, you know? It's not like something you work all your life to be gay or anything like that. And I, I just wondered, I just, I, I had a hard time believing that these 50, 60 year old men are actually bragging, you know, at work like they're, hey, uh, Bill, you know, uh, my kid, oh my God, we're proud of him, Johnny. He uh, uh, graduated from Harvard, you know, a first in his class, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, now he's articling over at a law firm and, uh, oh yeah, he loves cock. <laughs> you know? This kid. He can't get enough cock in his mouth, his ass, his kids always cock. I got a, I got a picture of the boy here sucking another man's cock. I want to show it to you. Be to watch the maturation of you as an artist, to realize it took you nine and a half minutes to get around to the sucking cock stuff. It's beautiful to see you comfortable in your own skin, Normie. All right. Uh, the Norm Show, 9.30. Right. What night? Wednesday? Yeah, Wednesday, Wednesday. ABC. Good luck with it. Norm McDonald. Stick around. Yeah. Norm, do the news. Norm McDonald. Now, Norman, you're an inventive guy. Uh, which of the current batch of inventions has tickled your fancy? What do you like? Uh, well, uh, Henry uh, Ford uh, just invented the assembly line there, right. you know? Yeah, and that was good because he wanted, you know, not just rich people, but anyone to drive over and see his cock. <laughs> <laughs> well, is there any other one that's got your fancy? There was Alexander Graham Bell. Yeah. You know, he, uh, he invented the telephone. Right, right. So he could call people up. Tell him to come on over and see his cock, you know, because you're starting to yell it out the window. So, <laughs> so, so, hey, theme development. check out my cock. So, Norm, I hear you just got back from New York City. What's happening in Gotham? Oh, my God. Well, the big thing is the new Empire State Building. Have you seen this? I've heard. I have not seen yet. Oh, it's crazy. What I'm interested in is the original architect's blueprint, you know? Yes. It called for the building to be painted flesh tone, Dennis, with a large rounded head so the architect could lie on the street and pretend he had a thousand-foot cock. <laughs> Frank Lloyd Wright, more like Frank Lloyd Cock. So, Norm, tell me, what's your take on this whole Cold War thing? Well, my brother works down at the U.N., right? right. Now, you remember last week when Khrushchev was banging his uh, shoe sure. on the table? crazy bastard. Yeah. So, my brother was sitting beside him, mm -hmm. and Khrushchev, like, he accidentally slips, and my brother gets hit right in the cock. With the shoe? Yeah, by Khrushchev's shoe. <laughs> <laughs> so, my brother turns to him, he says, Hey, you hit me in the cock again, you dirty commie, I'll bury you. <laughs> What's been happening, man? Oh, man, I dropped acid the other week. That, yeah. that is bizarre stuff. Really? Yeah, my cock started singing to me. <laughs> I like Joe Cocker. It stood for something other than just being Mexico's bitch. I say if President Clinton 296 doesn't snap us out of this downward spiral we're in, we dump his gay ass. Next selection process, we clone Jesse Ventura again, bring him back. Hey, Norm. Hey, you know what I think they should put on the dark side of the moon? What? Vast fields of bio-engineered, hydroponically grown cock. <laughs> yeah. yeah. you know, like a backup supply just in case our earthbound supply of cock might run out one day. A little cock tucked away for a cocky day. <laughs> exactly. Look at my head, man. It looks like a cock. It does. Cock. Cock. <laughs> cock. That's just my opinion. I could be wrong. <laughs> <laughs>